Hi, boys and girls. Um, I'd like you to open up your math journal to page um, 254. I'm going to put that up here. 254. And let's work a few problems this morning um, to get us going on math. Problem number one here says, what fraction of the distance from zero to one did the triangle move? Well, the triangle started at zero sixths and then it moved this direction. Hmm. Well, we know it's broken into sixths. So if this is zero six, this must be mm -hmm, two, three. Go ahead and write that fraction here. Remember the fraction will have a number on top and then the line and then a six on the bottom. Let's go to the next problem. Hmm, lots of boxes here. Fill in the blanks. Two times 10 plus three is equal to some number plus 10 times two. Well, I notice here that two times 10 and 10 times two would equal the same thing. So something when you, this number, when you add it to three is going to be the same as some number added to what we started with. That sounds like it's going to be three, but let's check and see if that uh, matches. Let's see, two times 10 is 20 plus three is 23. I'm going to write a little 23 up here to help me remember that this side of the equation ha is equal to 23. I've just solved all of this. Now let's try this side. 10 times 2 is 20 plus 3. All of this stuff over here is also equal to 23. So I've just found my answer. 3 goes here. Now look at these carefully. Even though there's lots of numbers here, you can still figure out the number that's missing. It kind of seems like it looks harder than it really is. They're just changing the places of the numbers. Okay, let's try box number three. Now this one you will have to do some drawing. I'm just going to warn you right now. It says use fraction tools or drawing. I'm going to say use drawing to solve this one because that pops up in another box. It says Chris ran seven eighths of a mile. Adam ran five eighths of a mile. Hmm. Well, if I draw that number line and it looks like the boys broke their line into eight equal pieces. So I start with two equal pieces and then those halves get divided in half. That makes four equal pieces. And then those quarters or fourths get divided. Whoops, I forgot to put my zero eighths will go here and my one eighth will go here. Nope, sorry, my eight eighths will go here. Okay, now that I've got that part, I could mark a spot for Chris on my line. Zero eights, one eight, two eight, three eights, four eights, five eights, six eights, seven eights. Here's Chris's spot that he ran. I'm going to put a C up here. Adam ran five eights of a mile. One eighth, two eights, three eights, four eights, five eights of a mile. And I'm going to put an A here. Who ran the greater distance? Well, you can write it on a line, but for me, I could choose who. It's either going to be Chris or Adam that ran the greater distance. And then I need to compare, compare 7 eighths and 5 eighths. Let's see, this is 5 eighths, this is this much as 7 eighths. Which one is greater? Remember when you're choosing um, these kinds of greater than and less than, wow, it's hard to see with my drawing. 
Um, maybe I'll move this over here. When you're trying to, well, that's a little better. Um, when you're trying to decide which inequality you need to use, the point of this little arrow here always points to the one that's smaller. Okay, let's move on to, I'm gonna get rid of this. Remember, you gotta draw on this one. Let's go to box four. Box four says, record the times. Well, to tell the time on this clock, I need to say what hour it's in. This seems to be inside of the seven o'clock hour, which is always right after the seven. So I can um, put a seven in there. And then how many minutes after seven is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this clock is showing me seven, ten p.m. Now let's look at the ending time. Hmm. We're still in the seven o'clock hour here. It hasn't quite gotten to the eight yet. I can tell because the minute hand would have to be up here in order to be on the eight. So I've still got seven in the seven o'clock hour, but this time, rather than counting by ones like I did here, I'm gonna count by fives all the way around. Here I go. Five, that was five minutes went by. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Well, this clock says 7.55. Now the next question says, how much time passed from the start time to the end time? Well, let's see. This clock had 55 minutes on it, but it didn't start here. It started 10 minutes after the hour. So I could get my little eraser and erase 10 of these minutes. That was some of the minutes. See these five here, I just erased those. Now I'm gonna erase the minutes from one to two. That's another five. So let's erase those. Now I could recount the minutes to tell the difference between 710 and 755. So I could just go five, 10, 20, all the way around and then write that in here. Now let's look at box five. Box five says, explain how you used your fraction tools or drawings. We use the drawing. In problem three to compare. So you're going to think back to your drawing that you made. I can give you a little preview. Remember this drawing you made? You're going to explain how, your draw, how you used your drawing to tell which one was greater. Was it 7 eighths or was it 5 eighths? You can tell which one is greater by looking at the number line. But the job now is to explain. So this is more than maybe a word or two. This might be a sentence or a couple sentences. Okay, when you're done, bring your uh, math journal to me. I'd like to look it over. All right. Bye.